you're fired. Welcome to Flixtalgia. Today we're uncovering the top 10 actors who are unexpectedly fired from movies and TV shows. Join us as we delve into the surprising and sometimes controversial exits that shook Hollywood and left fans wondering what really happened behind the scenes. If any of these firings caught you by surprise, or if you think we've left a notable exit off our list, be sure to sound off in the comments below. Number 10, Shannon Doherty. So you're Brandon's sister, huh? Yeah, I'm Brandon's sister. Shannon Doherty, known for her fiery on-screen presence, found herself in the real-life drama that could rival any episode of the show she starred in. The set of Beverly Hills 90210 turned into a battleground when tensions between Doherty and co-star Jenny Garth escalated into what Tori Spelling described as a full-blown fistfight. Brenda, relax, okay? Meditate or something. I told you I know what I'm doing. In a moment that blurred the lines between the high school halls of West Beverly and reality, Spelling, in a move that felt ripped from the pages of a soap opera script, dialed her father, the show's creator, to intervene. The result? Doherty's exit from the series. Spelling's recount of the event years later on Tori Spelling's celebrity lie detector carried a tone of regret, acknowledging the gravity of her actions on Doherty's career. Well, this guy in the lighting crew said that she's a natural Maggie. <laughs> he heard that uh, she's the front runner. Oh, bye. Number nine. Ryan Gosling. I mean, there's lots of beautiful women in this bar, your friend included. Hi. I love you. But I can't take my eyes off of you. In a twist worthy of Hollywood drama, Ryan Gosling, aiming to embody Jack Salmon in The Lovely Bones, transformed himself by gaining weight, envisioning his character as a robust 210 pounds. This method included indulging in melted haagen ice cream to achieve his goal. I really believed he should be 210 pounds. I mean, I was, I was melting haagen and drinking it when I was thirsty, you know? And I, I, I really believed it and I was excited about it. And I showed up and they said, you look terrible. And I said, I know, isn't that great? However, creativity clashed when director Peter Jackson envisioned a different Jack, leading to Gosling's departure from the film days before production. Gosling's commitment to the role was met with a stark reality check, leaving him pondering his choices and humorously noting he was left fat and unemployed. Mark Wahlberg stepped into the role, leaving us to muse on what Gosling's version of Jack might have brought to the screen. Number 8. Megan Fox It looks like your, uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. Yeah? How'd you know that? Uh, my dad. He was a, he was a real grease monkey. Megan Fox, the dynamo known for her roles in high-octane blockbusters, found herself in the center of a Hollywood storm after comparing her Transformers director Michael Bay to some other infamous historical figures. Well, he's sort of, he's infamous for, for being a sort of tyrant, I guess, on set, but he... Her candid remarks in Wonderland magazine likened Bay's directorial style to that of Napoleon and Hitler, comments that quickly transformed her status from lead actress to fired. It seems her attempt to shine a light on the demanding conditions on set sparked more than just controversy. It led to her being replaced by Rosie Huntington Whiteley on the franchise. Bay's response? A mix of sarcasm and a hint of regret over the long working hours on set. Number 7. Christian Bale The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. Christian Bale, a master of transformation and intensity, faced an unexpected plot twist early in his career, being fired from American Psycho in favor of Leonardo DiCaprio, only to later reclaim the role that would become one of his most unforgettable performances. Some homeless people, maybe five or ten, um, an NYU girl I met in Central Park, I left her in a parking lot behind some donut shop, I killed Bethany. In a move that could be straight out of a Patrick Bateman's playbook, Bale displayed unwavering determination, continuing his rigorous gym routine and persistently checking in with director Mary Heron as if his departure was merely a minor setback. His relentless belief in his destined role and his almost comical persistence, interrupting Heron's dinners to discuss scenes, paints a picture of an actor so deeply connected to his character that not even the prospect of being replaced could deter him. Bale's method of keeping the role alive in his mind, and perhaps Heron's patience, eventually paid off, securing his place as the iconic, eerily charming Bateman. Number 6. Sylvester Stallone Before Sylvester Stallone became the epitome of on-screen toughness, he took a bold swing at shaping his career, a move that led him to be axed from what would become the blockbuster hit Beverly Hills Cop. In a tale of creative differences that might have been more gripping than the script itself, 
Stallone, eager to blend action with a dash of humor, decided to give the script a personal makeover. Unfortunately, his vision of a tough guy with a wry sense of humor didn't quite align with what the producers had in mind. Enter Eddie Murphy, who stepped into the role Stallone had to vacate, sprinting to stardom in a role that seemed tailor-made for Murphy's comedic genius. Stallone, meanwhile, didn't let the setback keep him down, proving that sometimes getting fired is just another step on the stairway to stardom. Are you listening? Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Number five, Edward Norton. He's a protect you from yourself if you have a strong reaction. You can tell me later if you thought it was strong. Edward Norton's foray into the Marvel Universe's Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, and the Incredible Hulk was one time gig that ended with more of a whimper than a roar. Norton's insistence on things going a certain way reportedly led to tension on set. When it came time to assemble the Avengers, Marvel Studios opted for a different kind of Hulk, citing the need for an actor who could better mesh with the collaborative spirit of the ensemble cast. Kevin Feige's diplomatically worded statement hinted at the complexities behind the decision, to which Norton later retorted with a jab about brand defensiveness. Enter Mark Ruffalo, who seamlessly stepped into the Hulk's massive shoes, leaving Norton's version of the character as a fascinating footnote in the sprawling Marvel cinematic saga. Number 4. Henry Cavill You're scared of me because you can't control me. You don't. And you never will. But that doesn't mean I'm your enemy. Henry Cavill, our beloved Man of Steel, who soared into the hearts of DC fans with his chiseled jawline and heroic charm, found himself unexpectedly grounded. In a plot twist that felt more dramatic than a comic book cliffhanger, Cavill announced he was hanging up his cape, just as fans were buzzing over his much-anticipated return as Superman. The decision, it seems, came from the top, with DC Studios' new dynamic duo James Gunn and Peter Safran opting to explore Superman's younger days, leaving no room for Cavill in the phone booth. I think I'll probably just leave when I'm good and ready. Ooh. Taking to Instagram with the grace of a true superhero, Cavill shared the bittersweet news, acknowledging the shift in creative vision with a tip of the hat to the new architects of the DC Universe. As Cavill steps away from the role that made him a household name, fans can't help but wonder what's next for the actor who made the world believe a man could fly. Number 3. Shia LaBeouf You need any money for lunch? No, I don't need any money for lunch. I have money from yesterday's lunch. Shia LaBeouf's departure from Don't Worry Darling became a saga as tangled as the plot of the psychological thriller, with director Olivia Wilde and LaBeouf offering conflicting narratives that kept the rumor mills grinding. Wilde cited a clash in working styles, suggesting LaBeouf's combative energy didn't mesh with the collaborative spirit she strives for in her productions. LaBeouf, on the other hand, painted a picture of an amicable exit, claiming the lack of rehearsal time led him to bow out, and even brought receipts in the form of text and a video from Wilde to support his case. Amidst this drama enters Harry Styles, who replaced LaBeouf, adding a new layer of intrigue, and perhaps a touch of harmony, to the production. This he said, she said scenario leaves fans speculating about what really went down behind the scenes, proving that off-screen drama can sometimes rival the film itself. Number 2. Johnny Depp Come to negotiate, eh? Have you, you slimy git? Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Johnny Depp, a swashbuckling pirate on screen and a headline grabbing figure off screen, found himself walking the plank from the Fantastic Beasts franchise in a twist that could rival any of his on screen adventures. Amid a stormy sea of legal battles and public scrutiny, the actor was asked to vacate his magical post as Grindelwald, making way for Mads Mikkelsen to don the wizard's robes. This came after a court sided with accusations against him, leading to a parting of ways that Depp announced with a tip of his hat to his supporters on Instagram. Warner Brothers waved goodbye to Depp with a brief but appreciative nod to his contributions. In the grand tale of Depp's career, his chapter was surely more bitter than sweet, proving that sometimes life imitates art in the most unexpected ways. Number 1. Richard Gere Getting older, man. I gotta keep moving forward. Just move. Please, Julie. Richard Gere, before becoming the smooth-talking charmer of Hollywood, was set to star alongside Sylvester Stallone in The Lords of Flatbush. However, the duo's on-set chemistry was more explosive than dynamic, leading to a clash worthy of a cinematic showdown. Stallone, in recalling the tension, painted a picture of Gere taking method acting to a new level, embodying the baddest knight at the round table a tad too convincingly. The final straw came in a moment straight out of a slapstick comedy. Gear, indulging in a chicken with mustard, accidentally launched a greasy missile onto Stallone's thigh. Stallone's response? An elbow to the side of the head and a push out of the car. The director, now faced with a classic Hollywood dilemma, chose to keep Stallone and send Gear packing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent clips from Flickstalgia. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about all our latest videos.